So hello, hello, hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. My name is Sayyam and welcome back to the channel. Right? Today we're gonna solve this very interesting problem. This problem is not very easy, not very medium, or not very difficult. It's like a mix of both. I would rate this problem a medium plus problem. Because it can be a little bit difficult in thinking about it. But it is actually not very difficult. But yeah, I mean, it's a little bit medium to difficult problem. It's like acceptance rate is around 45%. Which makes this problem a good problem, and yeah, with that note, let's get started with the video. Then, what's the wait? There are n cars on an infinitely long road. Wow, yeah, infinitely long road. Me, even n cars here. No matter. We'll see. Cars are numbered from zero to n minus one, from left to right, and each car is present as a unique point. Okay, he har point jo hai, the the car represent as a unique point. Cool. You given a zero index string direction of length n. The direction of i can be either left, right, or s. S means standing. Third year, the car is standing. Cool. And each car moving has sp same speed. That is very very important. Every car has same speed. वो ना भी चाहिए था कुछ की speed तो दी नहीं अपन को. The number of collisions can be calculated as okay. Very very important. Read this problem very very carefully. When two cars moving in opposite direction collide. The number of collisions increased by two makes sense also. कि left से आ रही है car एक sorry left से नहीं एक right से car आ रही है एक left से car आ रही है दोनों से भिड़ गए and then there were two collisions because both are collided. When a moving car collides with a stationary car, collisions increases by only one. That is very very important. Very very important. Very very important that whenever there is a collision with a stationary car, only collision increases by one. That is very important, and this makes the problem very easy also. To be very frank, to be very frank, because if this was not the case, the problem would have been very difficult. Because already, if there is a collision with a collision with a car, and if it if it is become stationary, see, after the collision, they no longer can move and they stay at the point. So they can be treated as stationary, and then we have to count the collision for them also. So that's why for making the problems. Slightly simpler. They mentioned that if you collide with a stationary car, the car which is not stationary will be counted as a collision. You can say like that. Cool. And they already mentioned when they collided, they have to be stay at the same point. Now this could create also confusion between uh, the people's mind. Okay, how to think about? Ki yar, now what they are saying is the collision. They uh, they will remain at that point. So we have to find that point. We have same speed, something like that. Indexing logic. No, we don't need to worry. About. I will tell you very intuitive way how to think about that. I also thought about the same thing. क्या यार कैसे वो intersection point ढूंढना पड़ेगा क्या? Then only how to find the collision, something like that. But okay. Other than what they're saying, the car cannot change the state or direction of motion. That is obvious. That's okay. They won't change. Means after collision they will stop. And return the total number of collision that will happen on the road. Okay. अब ये पढ़ने के बाद सी कंस्ट्रेंट आई डोंट थिंक सो आर मच यूजफुल बिकॉज वी अंडरस्टूड दैट कि सम हाउ वी हैव टू डू इट इन ओ ऑफ एन ओनली बट कंस्ट्रेंट ऑल्सो सेटिस्फाइंग दैट ओनली कि ओके समथिंग वी हैव टू डू ओके नाउ व्हेन आई रेड दिस प्रॉब्लम आई वाज वेरी कंफ्यूज विद टू थ्री थिंग्स दैट ओके कि कोलिजन्स वी हैव टू फाइंड देन लेफ्ट से आ रहे हैं इफ देर सम लेफ्ट 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 एंड देन आर राइट राइट Then these two are gone only because they are left out of boundary cases. And if you think about this, they are also going right, 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 right only, and they won't collide because they have same speed. So technically, in this case, their number of collisions are zero. So something was getting into me, but there was some stationary thing also. And uh, this thing, na, they try to confuse you. तो वो confuse करने के लिए ये चीज लिख दी उन्होंने कि जब दो कार से आ रहे तो दो collisions होंगे. Instead of thinking like this, two one collision. Think like collisions are independent, right? You need to think like this. He can we do something like this? He go for every car, go for every car, and then check whether it will collide or not. Check whether this will make the problem very simple. Whether it will collide or not. Try to pause the video. And try to think about this. Okay, okay, can we do something? Can we get a hint, right or not? Okay. 
this is my prime observation that let's try to think in this direction instead of calculating the distances or collision points okay acha when let's try to consider the three cases because only there are three type of cars right car left car and stationary point okay let's try to think about this when i am at a right car i am going from left to right zero index to uh, n minus 1 index i go to a right car so um, i don't know like i am saying all the cars if the right count aata jata hai i cannot do anything i cannot tell about ki i will collide or not because i am going from right left to right right so right 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 we don't know so we cannot do anything so what we can do let's say to think let's remain there when the collision will occur when i will encounter a left car i'm now left car will have collision only when when there are some behind the cars what could be the possibility either there are some right cars or they could have some stationary cars i hope you are getting it <clears throat> i hope you are getting it tabhi to collision hoga otherwise collision kyu hoga if there is a left car all are left then they will go out of the index right but if there is some right car or some stationary car then there will be a collision absolutely right come now let's try to think about this ki kaise kaise apan cheezo ko approach kar sakte ho i got a left car ab aisa bhi to ho sakta hai kuch is tarike se na jo jaye right 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 left right and then right what do you think now you will think are it is very simple sayam see we are two right cars definitely then we got a left car if we get a single left car all the previous right car will get collided with this definitely because when they will collide so the count collision will be counted as two because i am already saying we are not counting the collision by this logic we are counting the collisions by every car logic will it collide or not absolutely so they will collide so i am saying this will also collide this will also this also will collide because they become stationary you can say that they will meet here you can say that right and left and then they will collide let's say there and this also will collide because right co co collide with the stationary thing because they are saying at the same point right this will also collide this will also collide this will also collide now if you try to think about it now already they have collided now our right count we can maintain the counter but how many right cars we have until now until we found a left car so our that counter can become zero right now they could be nullified with single left absolutely now if we go about this right will this right it won't be collided because this left is now is being satisfied these three cars and we get only three collisions i hope you get some intuition from here also ki acha we can maintain some counter see this is how you try to think about a problem okay we maintain a counter of how many right cars we have okay now what about stationary cars what about stationary cars see now these cars are nothing but after collision are stationary car only okay but stationary car does it help yes it will help because let's say let's say let's say you have a left car you encounter a left car now you will be curious that okay how would i know that this car will collide or not uh, i don't know i just only know only when either i already told you either there is some stationary car stationary car or some right cars but sayam you have told us that here the count becomes zero the right cars we cannot count that's why that's why what we will do is will create there is no stationary car also here that's why i'm saying but will this collide if i just make a left here definitely it will collide because they will be static and left 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 going it will collide that's why what we are saying is will maintain a flag variable that's why we need a flag variable also that will tell us that will tell us what it will tell either we found a stationary car or either we have already encountered a collision we have a collision because then the car will become stationary collision or for one time if it becomes true it will be always true because we already found a stationary point because a left car comes na then it will co collide with this thing collision or we have a stationary car 
that means both the same thing but collision ke baad wo stationary the wo already stationary the stationary i hope you are getting it this is how we will handle the left case i already told you right case we don't know the collision will happen or not now don't try to think about you can think like this also oh sahi hum uh, you are calculating right but what about this it could collide from right side also right absolutely we already handle those cases because we are trying to see we don't think about ki i'm just considering the this case only ki only from left collision no 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 i already considered the collision from right why because when i do right right left i don't know this collision will happen or not with right so what i do i will main, increase the counter of rights i will increase the counter of right ki i don't know ki okay maybe future mein collision will happen now when i will come to here i will consider three collisions not only one that is the diff it is the difference right right absolutely now let's try to think and build the intuition that what are the three cases possible three cases possible case number 1 case number 1 that it is a right car right car i don't know the collision will happen or not i will just maintain a counter and i will just do a count plus plus i i encounter one more right car cool what is the case number 2 case number 2 it is a left car and now we have to think about इधर द फ्लैग इज सेट या मतलब जो अपना फ्लैग वेरिएबल था कि अपन को स्टेशनरी कार मिल गई उसके लिए अपन फ्लैग सेट है और अपना जो काउंटर है वो जीरो है मतलब अभी कोई भी मुझे राइट कार नहीं मिली है और मतलब फिर भी फ्लैग सेट है मतलब कहीं ना कहीं या तो कोलिजन हो चुका है मुझे कोई स्टेशनरी कार मिल चुकी है तो मैं क्या करूंगा कि लेफ्ट कार का तो कोलिजन हो जाएगा आई विल इंक्रीज द आंसर आंसर विल राइट एब्सोल्युटली अदरवाइज अदरवाइज अगर मेरे पास कोई काउंट है कि मैं अनदर रिफ्ट में दिस इज अनदर रिफ्ट This is another if. अगर अपने पास काउंट ग्रेटर देन जीरो है इसका क्या मतलब हुआ ऑलरेडी अपने पास कोई राइट कार अवेलेबल है वाओ तो एक तो अपना फ्लैग सेट कर लेते हैं कि कोलिजन तो हो चुका है अब बार बार ट्रू भी कर दे सेम फ्लैग को तो कोई बात नहीं ठीक है कोई दिक्कत नहीं ना ट्रू को ऑलरेडी ट्रू कर दो कोई दिक्कत नहीं है एंड वॉट यू विल डू आंसर में आप तुम बताओ कितना इंक्रीमेंट करेंगे अरे यार एक तो काउंट जितनी राइट कार से उतना एंड देन प्लस वन खुद भी तो है This is the idea of the left case, and then the third case is right case, uh, stationary case. A stationary case me the collision with won't happen with himself. What it can do is it can do just just like this. If uh, also we just have to maintain the count zero here. We forgot to maintain count equals to zero here because we already consider all the collision of the previous right. Now if we just made a flag equals to true, flag equals to true, we got. Right, flag equals to true also. Got. Also, since it is a stationary car, people will come. Right car will come, and then it will collide with this also. That's why what you will do if count equal count is greater than zero. What you will do will answer plus equals to count this time, not count plus one because stationary car collision won't be considered and will make count equals to zero. Why I made flag equals to true always because definitely if it is a stationary car. There will be a stationary point. That's what this flag for, right? And initially, we'll initialize this flag with false. So I hope you understood it. Let me just quickly dry run on a simple example, and we'll understand it very better. So we got a right car. Cool. We'll increase our counter, counter with one. Okay. Then we got a left car. Then what we will do? Oh, are there any left car? Yes, there are left car. And we'll set our flag also to true. So here, our flag also is set to true. Our answer. becomes two right right now we go to right car we increase our firstly our counter becomes zero because at that stage and then we increase our counter again by one because of this stage r then we got a stationary point then i already told you oh you got a stationary point you have some r let's increase our answer with one more because of this because stationary point won't won't be considered flag will always be true and then we got a left oh you got a left oh did your flag is true the count is zero count becomes again zero But your flag is still true. That means you had a stationary point. Left will collide with that. Will increase with four. Then you go to this left again. Same flag is true. Count is zero. Our answer is five. That is how we calculate our answer. I hope you get it. Let me just quickly show you the implementation. See, we initialize our flag with false. That will tell us oh there is a stationary point or not. The count that will tell you how many right have you encountered until now, which is not been collided. And then this is the final answer. Then we go in the direction. We call the R part. See, in these type of question, right? Try to think. If there are only three possibility, try to think of all the three cases. That will help you to solve this problem very quickly. 
oh you got a r we had how many r's we have encountered until so far it's a continuous r cool then we have got a left now we have to think about the two cases that okay if it is a flag like if it is a true means we had a stationary point and count is zero then we we'll increase by one only the left part otherwise our count is greater than zero that means we have a collision let's make the flag also true if it already true no problem we will again make it true and we'll make the count zero but before that we'll increase count plus one the previous hours plus itself and then finally if it is a stationary point we will make it true because this is a stationary point we found right and then if there is some r it will collide with this also because right right can collide with this as well right so this is the idea and we return the answer the main idea was don't to confuse with the problem statement what they mentioned here that oh two and one part this is the confusing part if you just handle them independently this will make the problem much simpler i hope you understood it and if you like the video make sure you to like the video and subscribe to the channel we'll see you in the next video then we'll then keep learning bye bye and also you can check out the oop series also we have recently launched uh, six videos already are i am working on that quickly cool see you in the next video then bye bye